up guys how are ya thanks for watching today I am doing this pink look inspired by my pink champagne shadow from Anastasia so to start off I'm gonna prime my face with my Lancome Pro Base Primer which is a smoothing primer and I'm just rubbing that in with my fingertips all over my face using my NARS all day weightless luminous foundation and my Maybelline matte poreless foundation I'm mixing together just to get the right shade and I'm just using a kabuki style brush to blend that all into my face picking up my benefit user hula liquid bronzer I'm using the same brush to pop that onto the high points of my face to bronze up my look give me a bit more of a golden view to the face then I'm going in with my naked skin concealer which is by Urban Decay and it's probably my favorite concealer at the moment I'm just using this to highlight and conceal the high points of my face under my eyes and just using the very same brush to um, kind of pat and buff that product in it's a really nice coverage concealer and uh, blends so easily Felt like I needed a bit more of a bronzy look, so I used my Clinique Chubby Stick in Curvy Contour to just kind of bronze up the skin and also contour my face as well. I just used the same Kabuki style brush to buff that in as well. It really is just like a multi-purpose brush and it helps like with any excess product to um, blend in the product you've applied with the product that is already on your face. Just see under my eyes and uh, down my nose, chin and um, forehead, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I did apply um, an eye cream before doing my makeup today because I find if I don't, it can be very dry using this product. This is my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation, which I just used with a big fluffy brush to set the rest of my face where I haven't set with the translucent powder. Grabbing my Kat Von D um, Shade and Light contour palette. I am using a Sigma contour brush to brush that underneath my cheekbones and then you'll see my ugly scrunched up face here but this is how I get the best nose contour. I just kind of suck in my nose and then paint down the side of my nose with that brush, the same brush. I find it works really well and then I'm just grabbing that kind of yellow shade, the banana -y shade on, on a tapered brush and just popping it under my eyes and then also running it over top of that nose contour, contour just to kind of blend it out and make sure it's not as obvious. Grabbing Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, this is my personalized one. I'm using a blush brush from Sigma to bronze up my face and give it more of a tan to match my body. Just using that on my cheeks. I like to use it kind of like as a blush bronzer. Also a bit on my nose and my forehead and then just under the cheeks to kind of blend it into my neck as well. Moving on to my eyebrows, I'm using a Bobbi Brown um, eyebrow brush to just use a spoolie in to brush through my brows and grabbing my matte coquette eyeshadow and a Sigma eyebrow brush and I'm just filling in my brows, kind of drawing a line outside and above and just filling it in and brushing it out again. With the Ardell um, Lash and Brow Growth Accelerator, just setting that and grabbing some more of my Urban Decay Naked um, Skin Concealer and just using a flat brush to just sketch out underneath my brows and clean them up a little bit just to make them a little bit sharper and just dragging whatever concealer is left in the brush down onto my eyelids as a primer this is the Kat Von D Rust like, Quad which I picked up from Sephora and I'm just using a large fluffy brush to set any concealer I put on my eyelids I'm grabbing that contour shade and today I'm really focusing on doing a rounded eye shape. I always seem to like wing out my eyeshadow and really blow it out, which I generally like, but today I really wanted to create a round shape to my eyes. Grabbing that really rust colored shade and a Sigma tapered eye brush. I am now also going over that circular um, round shape to my eye and really deepening the um, crease or socket of my eye just for some depth and definition. This technique will work really well if you don't have a defined crease. Like I have quite um, set back eyes, not like um, the worst, but they are, this definitely like um, puts them back in. So if you don't have a crease, this is a good technique for you. 
grabbing this Anastasia shadow. I can't remember what shade it's called. It might be fudge or chocolate. I'm just going to make sure, but I will put that down below. And I'm just doing the same thing, but bringing it not as high up in the crease as I did with the rust color. Using the same brush to just um, get right in there and blend out that crease in that rounded shape. I'll also grab see that fluffier blending brush and just go over top of everything just to make sure it's no harsh lines and it's all blended in nicely. And then I will go back in with a tapered brush and just make sure it is um, deep and opaque and looking how I want it to. Grabbing that rust colour again, I'm just going around the outer edges and making sure they're all blended in together and maintaining that rounded eye shape that I am after. Now I'm grabbing Pink Champagne which is that beautiful metallic shade from Anastasia and I'm actually applying it first dry because I really wanted to see how metallic it was all over the lid. Um, it worked pretty well but I found that I did wet it with my Native Rituals Hydrating Makeup Fix and it just went on like really metallic-y um, and beautiful and really opaque so I thought that was really nice over the top of it. I'm just using like a flat brush to apply that. And then just blending everything in again with the fluffy blending brush to make sure there's no harsh lines and the pink champagne is blended in with the rust and the darker shade. Now on a flat shader brush I'm just defining under my eyes with that rust colour and again with that darker shade from Anastasia just really close to the lash line to bring some depth and definition under my eyes and bring out the blue in my eyes. Grabbing that contour shade which is that light pink shade I'm just brushing it under my eyeballs. This is the Marc Jacobs um, sample eyeliner I got from Sephora. I think it was in like my birthday um, gift that I got. And it's kind of like a gel consistency and I'm just popping that into the waterline. Those are my Lana lashes which are a mink lash. And I'm just applying some Lancome um, Doll Eyes Hypnose Waterproof Mascara and applying the glue. Applying my Laura Mercier Shimmer Block, this is in Pink Mosaic, onto the high points of my face while I'm waiting for the glue to my eyelashes to dry. Popping that down my nose and on my cupid's bow and um, on my cheekbones and a little bit on my temples. Also grabbing the same shimmer block with a tiny, tiny brush. I think this is like for eyeliner and just popping that into the inner corner. Applying those Lena lashes or Lena lashes. They're beautiful, fluffy, not too dramatic. And this is our physician's formula in the nude blush, which you can get from La Femme Beauty in New Zealand now. They stock um, physician's formula. And then grabbing my Urban Decay Naked, uh, Naked? No, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set all my face, melt all the powders. Grabbing my Mary Kay um, Retractable Lip Liner in Neutral and just lining my whole entire lip with this. Um, I love this colour and the consistency is really comfortable to wear and stays on well. And then grabbing my Velour Liquid Lipstick, which is, um, you can grab these and shoot cruelty free. And this is in the colour Paris and popping that in the centre and blending it out. And that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's a little bit um, different with the pink tones and the rounded eye shape. If you do recreate it, recreate it, please tag me and please subscribe if you did like this video so that you don't miss out on any future vids. And I will see you next time. Bye! There's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So